how we do it in every one. So today I bring a power station. Now 2000 watt power station with 200 watt solar panel. That means I can charge my unit in about two hours with the solar panel. It has 13 outputs. Great display to give me plenty of information. Even you can control this with the application. But let me show you all those things right now. So how are we doing everyone? I'm Dario and this is Media Box ENT. We have always we bring you the latest in technology. So now Dario Show me the power station. So first I want to talk about the solar panel. The solar panel comes in a cool package where it's easy to take it apart and transport. It comes with the own cables with the plenty of options here. If you want to use it, but the cool thing comes also with the package with the right cable. So this is an extra thing. I will leave that on the side. So the panel will allow you to charge. It will give you 200 watts. So it will allow you to charge it for about two hours. So I think it's great charging the whole unit in two hours. When we charge it with power, with electric, so it's going to charge about 80% in an hour. So it's fast charging compared to the other units. Now also, because it has some weight of the batteries, the nice things we can carry this like a suitcase, so easy to transport the unit, so it has the wheels in the side. Total, we're looking at 13 different outputs. I'm gonna show you each one today. Also, what else we get? So we get a nice package. Everything comes real cool here, so let me show you the package, what we get here. So instructions, and how to download the app is here, and see, this one comes with the right cable to connect right in the solar panel. Also, be able to charge it if you want to charge it with your car. It comes with the cable and it comes with the two USB type C to type A adapters. So that's exactly what you get in this package today. Let's look at some of the outputs. So it's 110 volts, 50 and 20 amp. If you see this little line right there, that means you can connect 20 amp devices, 110. Then it, this here we have a 13.6 volts in DC output at 10 amps. So if you want to put a light, the drop lights or anything normally you plug it in the car, vacuums or anything else, that will be right there. Now let's go at the front now. Now what we're going to do later on, we're going to go back in the studio so I can show you nice detail of the unit. There's plenty of information we can get out of this unit. So power, turns on the AC. The DC, you turn on the 13.6 volt and the reset if you want to connect this and control with your app. But what's important, let's look at the outputs right now. Power on demand, PD, USB type C. So that will give you an output between 5 to 20 volt. Remember, it's a power on demand, so it's being regulated by the device. And then also we have right here the 20 watt. What you get out of there between 5 to 12 volt. So it depends what device you want to charge it. This is great for phone, tablets, you're gonna be able to charge it super fast. Now, right here we have the 135 watt, and that's the 13.6 volts. So the input power, input power reset, 20 amp, allow you to connect up to 60 volt, 10 amp solar power, AC power, and ground. All right, so we are back right into the studio. So now I can show you some cool details on the display panel and show you how the application works. So the first thing I want to, you can really see a lot of information and show you, you know, how much battery we have. Right now it's 100%. Let me know the input power. Right now it's about 51 watts because it's almost full, but normally it's, it's a little bit empty. You're gonna see a nice 500 watt in uh, charge into the unit. And remember, about an hour you get 80%. Now the next thing we can full control the unit right from the app. I can turn it off right from the app. To turn it on, you turn it on from the unit, and then from here, we can turn off the light, we can turn off all different powers. And I want to show you something first. So the DC power, remember the DC power, we have a 13.3 volts right inside the cigarette lighter that you can use drop lights, and 12 volt drop light, vacuums, normally used for the car. And then we have the three outputs, 13 and 13.3 volts. So what I did, I put a little digital there to show you. I'm going to turn that one on. You can see in a second, we're going to have the 13 volts. And then we can see in the top, so we have the 13 volts 
is on it. So they had a little icon that displayed. Now, what we can do too, turn on the 110 volts, that's 60 hertz. Let's press it right there. And now, now we can see the plug, you see the little icon there. And now we have all the information right in the app. Now, if I charge my phone, we can even see, so I'm gonna go into the in output. And if I go to the output, so you're gonna see a little application on the side, we can see three watts. And the three watt is what I'm charging my phone right now. Remember it's PD on demand. The first two, you're gonna get about five to 20 volts. And then the next ones are in a 20 watt and you get about five to 12 volts. And it's power with all demand, so the man Depends what device you plug it in. They are smart enough to get so much power. It requires five volts. It will get five volts. It requires six volts. It will get six volts. And like phone, tablets, anything is USB C power on demand. It's going to charge it super fast. So we can actually see it's using three watts. I can see right now the light is using 38 watts. Factor one in 110 or let like a 0.9 factor there. Then we have the full information. And if I look here into the input, I can even, I can change the, the, the wattage on the input. So I can go all the way from 1800, go all the way to 300 watt. It has a sleep mode and battery information. Then we can go and go back and we can change even the ambient light. So we, we can make it the light the blue, red, any color, blue, purple. We can change the color if you want. You can change also the brightness of the light so that's just pretty cool oh, plenty white so that's nice because you can use this to illuminate around the unit if you have to plug it in and plug things out let's put like 100 percent it right now is only 25 or 30 watts in input the reason is because it's almost four so if it be about 90 percent you can see that pump it up all the way to like 500 watts so that's why in that case, in it, it will charge the unit in about an hour, you get about 80%. Remember also, we can charge it with the solar panel. Also, I want to show you, you can see the five volts. If I go this way, we get about 5.7 volts. So each USB type C, you get that. And those last three, you're gonna get the 13.3. That's why I put a little display there. You can see that. Now the application is super easy to install. Just follow the instructions. And you're just going to put the Wi-Fi and you can just full control the unit. All right, so remember the solar panel? It's pretty big now, not anymore. Look, comes with a nice carrying case, ready to transport and be ready when you need to use it. So as you see, it's a great unit. One of the things I love about this particular unit is you get a lot of power. Get almost like 2000, 2000 watts, be able to use about 1800. You have a full, full control right right from the from the app you can turn it off turn it on and do everything from here and then see real time what's going on with the unit you get the 13.3 volts you have a plenty 15 and 20 in amp power or output 110 and 60 hertz and also you get the, you get the pd on demand so you got all the way from 200 watts and then you had also of the 20 watt normally 20 watts you're going to be charging your cell phone or tablet but that's great because you can charge whatever you want with this type of unit so it's great to use in case of an emergency or you know if you go vacation camping it's always be ready to use connect the solar panel let it charge during the day and then ready at night or ready to use you know 24 hours a day all right i'll see you next time bye